Okay, Year 11 Music, we're going to learn how to make a G major chord progression. We can use this for our film composition. It's just one way, okay? So the tonality is major because it's a G major chord progression. Okay, first of all, we're going to create a new score and we're going to choose piano and vocal, okay? Because we might add a left hand on the piano. Uh, we might add other instruments to our score but we're going to learn about the chord structure for a G major chord progression okay so let's label it always a note flight label it first of all name it otherwise you've got a big list of untitled G major chord progression then you can change that title later you can make it into your um, whatever your film uh, composition is going to be called now the next thing we do, because we're in G major, we're going to put the G major key sign in for the whole lot. And with note flight, little trick, you need to select all. Command A, select all. And then we go to measure. Don't click on measure, it'll disappear. Change key sign, and we're gonna uh, select one sharp G major. So everything we do in here now is G major. Now for reference, we go to my free uh, flip music learning website that's got our reference and we click on say so that's free.flipmusic.com.au forward slash chords okay and we do that by clicking on chords and harmony okay if you just go to free flip music and you go chords and harmony and we go down here and there's a good definition of what harmony is there and um, we're going to go to section five click on that chord progressions that is in your canvas this link so you don't need to go through all that just click on that link in your canvas as a reference okay it tells you um, here's our basic chord progression it's 12 bars and we're going to label them also G major C major D major etc okay now our first one if we have a look is G major D G B so we memorize that and we go, we want a D, take the cursor back. We want a G on the second line, take the cursor back, and we want a B on the middle line. And then we go to duration and we click on semi brief or whole note to make it a nice long line. So we just we can change that later, muck around with the rhythm later, um, depending on what sound we're going to make. <clears throat> and then let's have a look at the next one. C major, E, G, C. Okay, so it's an inversion. E. Okay, we've got a semi breeze so that's good. G, C, and now I happen to know I've memorized it. So we've got a D major chord, D, F sharp, A. We don't need to put the F sharp in because it's in our key sign here. D, F sharp, A, and I happen to know then we put a G major in again here. So we go D, oh, you know what we can do? I'm just going to delete that. And what we're going to do here is we can use the chord symbol here to click on that and we just go G. We won't worry about typing in major. Let's see if it'll let us do that. Oh yeah, it will let us do that. So let's do that because we want to distinguish between major and minor. Then we can just go tab, okay, and it goes C get major. D, get major, and then just click in an empty space here. I wonder if we can move those down. Ah, that's better. Okay, let's just move those down closer to the core. That looks a bit nicer. Now, look what happens. If we click on that bar and we go Command C or Copy, put that in there, saves us a bit of work. Okay, now click on this line and we're going to go plus, 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 plus. That's four bars. Then we want another four plus 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 and here's a little trick on how to arrange your bars in note flight click on that bar there that bar line return and click on one two three count four that bar line there and we've got a nice neat four bars four bars four bars now it gets a bit easier because we go back here and hey we want another g major so we just copy this from this bar and because we've labeled them it puts that label in it's nice and easy G major now I happen to know what the next chord is 
and we've got a new one. It's very easy, E minor. So this is the only minor chord in this. So you'd use this chord progression if your film is a fairly happy one, if you're a bit, a bit of an upbeat kind of feel, uh, even if it's a very slow tempo, because we can play around with that later with the tempo, uh, and we change that into a long note, and we want an E and a G, move the cursor back, B, and I happen to know that this is an E minor chord. Okay, oh, we didn't want that. Oh, it doesn't hurt. It's got the guitar chord. I just realized that. I'm just going to go undo, undo. And if we go E, it's an interesting little thing. If I click return, it gives me the little guitar thing as well. And if I just click in an empty space, oh, no, I don't know why it's done that. Okay. All right. That's why it puts it up fairly high anyway. It gives me the guitar chord for it. I don't know why. Oh, I know, because I've typed E minor. Hmm, okay, this is interesting. Let's see what happens if we just go the M. Yeah, it still does it. Okay, so let's go E minor. Might as well do that, and we get the guitar chord there as well. Okay, put that up fairly high because uh, we um, don't want that sitting down there where we're going to put our notes. Okay. Go back here, E minor, C major, D major. Okay, let's just memorize that. So we want a C major. Now, here's a little trick. I happen to know we want a C major and a D major in a row. So there's C major and D major. Hold the shift key, highlight both those bars, little shortcut, command C, and we want to stick that in here. Now, here's another shortcut. Okay, watch this. If we look at the last line, G major, C major, D major, G major, G major, C major, D major, G major, it's the same. So here's another little shortcut. Okay, click on that top line in that first bar, hold the shift key, click in this bar here, command C, we've copied those whole four bars and we're going to put them, we're gonna scroll down a little bit, into that bottom one there. Okay, now it's moved that stave down because it took up a little bit more room. We can play with that later as well. And let's have a listen to it. And it's labeled done our we've done our um we've done our uh, um G major chord progression. Okay, and we're going to learn how to add the bass line, other instruments, maybe some percussion. And if you choose to use this tonality, then this can be the start of your film composition.